Our sword, the word is our faith sword. is our shield, is our we're marching to, we're victory. marching to victory. We are the army of the Lord, we are the army of the Lord. Down in the battlefield, Down in the, battlefield. the word is our sword, the word is our sword. Faith, faith is our faith. shield, we're marching to victory. We are the army of the Lord. Down in the battlefield. Down in the battlefield. The word is our sword. The word is our faith is our shield. Faith is our shield. We're marching to victory. Let's fight, let's fight, praise. sisters who join us through the media, it is good to have you with us praise in this upper room to praise and glorify our God. Amen? Amen? So I don't know what kind of day you had, but whatever it was, bring it to the Lord. Amen. Whether it was a great day, whether it was a so-so day, whether it was a mmm kind of day, whatever it is, as we come into the presence of the Lord, as we lift our hearts and our voices, <laughs> as we praise His name, we know that there's power in praise. Amen. And we know that we are set free. God 
blesses the praises of his people. And so we want to open our hearts and our hands and our whole beings to praise our God tonight. Amen. And all you who join us through the media, we want to hear you praising from wherever you are. Amen. Join us. That it be a wonderful call of praise being lifted up to the throne of God. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Let's That's praise our sweet. God. I don't know what you come to do. place oh God we come to praise you Thank and why do you praise you praise you oh God because you are worthy of praise why do we worship you oh God because you are God you are our creator Amen. and it is you who are gathering your people again this Wednesday night it is you who have called each one of us my name and those of you who join us through the media too brothers and sisters he has called you by name wherever you are call each one of us because he is our God he is our creator and he wants us to be here in this place tonight. He calls us together that we might praise and worship him. Because that is what he deserves. And so we want to exalt our God in this place tonight. With our hands, our feet, and the music, everything that we can. Giving praise to our God because he is deserving of all praise. We bless you and we praise you and we thank you, O oh God. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of angel hosts. We bow down before you with all the angels and saints praising you and blessing you and exalting you in this place, O God. We recognize you as God and we say, come, Holy Spirit, come. Come and fill our hearts. Come and fill this place. Come, Holy Spirit. We invite you. We welcome you into this place. Come, Holy Spirit, come.
us apart that you call David apart and give us David like courage tonight to, to fight the Goliaths yes. give us David like courage tonight to know who our God is and to stand in that anointing and to know that the weapons that we fight with are not weapons that are carnal but weapons that are strong for the pulling down of strongholds the strongholds in our lives first, in our own hearts, in our own minds. Unruly desires that keep us away from you, O oh God. Pull them down tonight as we praise. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pull down the strongholds in our families, in our homes. Pull down the strongholds in our land. Pull down the strongholds in our governments and in our worlds. Give us, David, like courage to stand and know who our God is. Give us, David, like hearts to, to seek after the heart of God so that all who will see us would know that we are people seeking after the heart of God. Give us, David, like hearts that know when we are wrong. A Psalm 51 heart that says, creates in me a new heart, O God. Because we're going to fall, God, but bring us to repentance. So we give you repentant hearts tonight that would not block the flow of your grace, your anointing that is so present in this place. Oh, Holy Spirit, come. Oh, Holy Spirit, come. Come with your anointing. Oh, Holy Spirit, come to this place. Then the place is our hearts. Come with your glory. Come with your glory. Oh, come with your grace. Come with your fire. Sweep through our hearts.
It is good for us to be here, O oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It is good for us to be here, to gather in your holy name, to lift your name on high. Hosanna, Hosanna, hallelujah. For you are Abba, Father. For you are Jesus. Your name upon our lips and in our hearts, lifted before your throne. Lamb of God, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Spirit of the living God, we your people praise you, we worship you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you have heard our cry. You acknowledge our invitation. We ask you to come, and indeed you have. You are with us. We are not alone. We have each other. We are not alone. We have you. And even as we thank you for showing up for being faithful as you always are we thank you too that in the first place it is you who have invited us you have said to us in the first place come to me you are welcome you are welcome to gather in my presence to gather in my name Father, who are we that we should be able to hear your call, to have those spiritual ears to recognize? Who are we to have those hearts seeking to be like soft clay, those hearts that have experienced you drawing us to yourself, fashioning us and molding us, that we might praise your glory by our every thought, word, and deed, that we might tell of your goodness and proclaim your mighty works in our lives. It has all started with you, has it not, Lord? For you are the beginning and the end. We are here because of you. We raise our hands and our voices because of you. We are drawn to you because of you. It's all about you. You've started this all, and Lord, we want to continue to cooperate with your grace at work right here right in our hearts grace at work God doing a wonderful deed continuing a mighty deed a mighty work that he started we want to cooperate oh God we don't want to dig in our heels and resist you anyway in any form we want to just let go and let you draw us to yourself with hands lifted up in surrender with minds released from all the cares and worries of this world and of our lives, with hearts unlocked before you. Take, Lord, take us. Take us to yourself. Draw us with leading strings of love, that we might be one with your heart of love. <laughs> Bring us to yourself, O oh God. We are ready, we are ready, and we are willing. Call us, call us to yourself, O oh God. We surrender to you. Of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. Into your 
your presence you call us. Loving God, O oh, holy and loving God, into your presence we come. Into your presence we stand. Into your presence we bow down before you. O oh, holy and loving God, you breathe life into us. O oh, holy and loving God, you give us reason and purpose to live. And you go before us at all times. And as we take this moment in your presence, we just acknowledge you are our God, our Redeemer, our Savior. Lord, you go before us and there is no darkness that can just wipe you away because your light will remove all darkness. Your light is greater than any darkness. Lord, you go before us and you remove the obstacles that are in our path as you call us to walk by faith as you call us to walk with you in your presence. Tonight, Lord God, we just pray for anyone who is bound up, anyone who is finding themselves in a dark place and feels alone and anxious. And tonight, Lord God, as we lift up our brothers and sisters in need tonight, Lord, we just pray that you would free them, free them from those giants that bring fear, Free them from all those areas in their lives that are so dark that they find no joy, they find no hope. But yet, Lord, you go before us, you are present with us, and you are here to just be with us and to set us free. And so, Lord, we thank you for liberation. We thank you for freedom. We thank you for love. We thank you for peace. We thank you, Lord God, that you're moving in our land. We thank you, Lord, for your healing. 
We thank you for liberating us that we can sing our hallelujahs to you, Lord God. We thank you for your light that shines down upon us and just leads us forward, Lord God. Holy are you, Lord and God. We thank you as a people, Lord God. We thank you in our strength as you draw us together, Lord God. For you alone are holy. You alone are worthy. All glory belongs to you, Lord God. We worship you. We praise you. We glorify you. Hosanna to you in the highest heavens. Hallelujah to you, Lord God. We praise you. We worship you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. You're an awesome God. Thank you, Lord. I know my God will turn it around I have seen my God turn it around There are so many, many, many times in my life That I have seen my God turn it around I know my God will turn it around turn it around yes. have you really seen God turn it around yes. tell the person next to you sometime when you saw God turn it around and those of you at home have you seen God turn it around share that with someone if you're by yourself you tell the Lord the time that you turned it around that he turned that around in your life amen somebody like to give a testimony of that 
Anybody want to give a testimony of that? Brief one. You would like to give one, Anika? Yes, a brief one. Good. So, um, I want to start with God hears the cry of the poor. Amen. And um, there's somebody, a young man who's around this community a lot, who is in need of surgery, two types, for hernia and for his eyes. And his mother has been journeying with some of us, you know, just praying. And she's been doing the footwork, trying to get doctors to help. And uh, Dr. Clark has been very close to the family, too, doing that work. But see, it just seemed like obstacles all the time. And um, it's been happening since last year. But today we spoke, and she said that tomorrow she has an appointment. They have an appointment at the General Hospital for just information about the hernia surgery. And yesterday, she went to Gasparillo to get the lenses for the, the surgery on his eyes. And that happened, I think, only through prayer, but the prayer of a mother, who I think loves her son like Mary loves Jesus, Praise and will go with, pick up every cross with him and walk with him. So I think we have seen God turn that around in so many ways. Praise so the Lord. bless God. Praise God. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Anybody else want to share something? You see God turn something around in your life? Praise the Lord. I'm sure we all said plenty of things. Praise God. Francis, you want to say something? We, we haven't seen you for a long time over here, Fran. I'm sure you've seen God turn it around. Praise God for living what a community and such beautiful, oh God, beautiful, beautiful, amazing community. And I want to thank God for it. But last year I couldn't come, but I want to say something. My husband had a very bad attack of a vertigo. And he don't know about being sick because he's very organic and he's very particular in what he eats. So he took, he took in with his vertigo. And he was vomiting, vomiting, vomiting. I don't know what to do. So, as he was vomiting, he was so vomiting so much, I just knelt down by the side of the car because he was on his way home and he reached in the garage. And I prayed, 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 and I called the Blessed Mother, and I prayed. I never prayed so much in my life because if he died, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm alone there. And for some reason... He stopped vomiting. We called the ambulance, and when we reached into the emergency, the doctor said that they don't know what happened, but whatever happened, his vertigo had went away. So God turned it Praise around. God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Indeed, sisters and brothers, these are the times when we have to look and see where God is working, because there's so many negatives happening all around us and so much pain and suffering but God is at work in a beautiful way he is still with us he hasn't left us and he's doing these wonderful blessings and miracles every single day in our lives amen, amen. praise God so we look for that and we thank God for his great love for us let's just think of our world right now and the suffering of our world of our people all over the world Let's just sit, think of that pain that young people suffer because they can't go to school. Children, mothers that have to be at home with their kids. Just think of all this suffering right here in your own families in, and in our country and all over the world. We see this. But God is in our midst, sisters and brothers. No doubt about it. God is in our midst. And even now in this moment, let's just think of a family that you know might be your family, might not be your family. Just think of a family suffering in this way. Just bring them into the heart of God. Lord, you can turn around anything. The pain and suffering of these families, oh God, these children, mothers, fathers, grandparents. Lord, you can turn around to to bring joy and to bring some peace and some sort of reconciliation, some sort of, of love and some th sort of joy and expectancy, O oh God. Bringing them out of the doldrums, O oh Lord, and showing them that glim glimmer of hope 
in this time. Lord, we bring these families to you. We entrust them into your care today. And we entrust, Lord, all that they are suffering and ask that you turn that around in their families. Turn it around, Jesus, as only you can. Bring good out of this, Lord. Bring good out of this. Jesus, in your name we pray with faith and assurance of the power of your name, Jesus, that you indeed can turn all things around. Hallelujah to you, Lord. Praise to your name, O God. Glory to you, O Lord. Wonderful God, holy God, holy God that we worship, that we bless. Holy God that is present with us. Holy God that is with you at home, with your families, with that same family. Let's just worship that God. Let's just allow our hearts to be poured out in worship to the King. This God who turns things around. Praise you, Lord.
song that we sing will come to an end but the praise of Jesus will never come to an end the praise in heaven cannot end it is unceasing we thank you God that that's so true and one day we'll be part a part of that chorus of praise that never ends but even now you your word instructs us to pray without ceasing so we'll praise without ceasing too. We'll worship without ceasing. Even as we work, even as we rest, O oh Lord, help our minds to be on you. Even when we argue, help us to do it in a way that is, I don't know, that blesses you still because you're in every human interaction. Help us to put you first, O oh God. Help us to put you first. Help us to tell our souls to praise you. Why so downcast, oh my soul? Get up and praise the Lord. Rise up and praise the Lord. Why so low, my soul? Jesus is in your midst. Jesus is in this place. I will praise the despair away. I will praise this bond and see away. I will praise away depression. I will praise away anxiety. And know that my God is fighting for me. Oh, bless the Lord on my soul. All that is within me, praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Worthy of our worship, O Lord God. 
There is none that can compare with you, Almighty God. Speak that word into our hearts, O oh God. Speak your word of life, O oh God. Speak, Lord, as we, your servants, listen, O oh God. Speak your word to us, O oh God. Shabbat. My very special and chosen people. Do you have any idea why I chose you? Can you grasp the length and the depth and the breadth for the purpose for which I have so chosen you? Do you know that you have each been called to be holy, to be sacred, and to be truth? And it is in your very life that you will show forth those fruits. My beloved people, it is a simple way of life but it is a peaceful way of life. Don't let the world confuse your mind so much that you are preoccupied each day of your life with the worries of the world. I have invited you to focus on me and to allow me to be part of your life in every single moment that unfolds. And so as you rise each morning, my beloved people, Reverend your God, because you are sacred and have been called to worship and adore me. Bend your heart in adoration. Prostrate yourself before me and know that I who am God will prepare you for the hours ahead. And as you go through each day, think of me being present to you in every moment so that wherever you go and whoever you meet, may radiate my loving and saving presence. And even if there are some harsh measures in which you have to act, I will give you the grace to act it in the way that I would, just as I corrected the people in the temple, just as I met the children on the way, just as I spoke to the lepers and they, they were healed. And so you will find that others will come to ask of you, what they need to do or for guidance through your, your counsel. I say to you, behold, ask them and encourage them to try to work at each moment being aware that I am present because you're then your whole day becomes a prayer. Your whole day becomes a witness to my glory. A whole day passes and you are before the throne of grace. And so I say to you, my beloved people, this is a new time. It is a time in which, by your very life, you will witness to this truth. And others will find hope. Conversion will come about in lives as people witness the truth that you live, the love that you represent, and the source from which you have come. I, your creator God, desire with all my heart that you may be open to receive the anointing that I offer to you this night, so that each one of you in the morning shall rise and know that I am with you. And as the day you pass, you shall know that I am present to you. And as the night before you rest, you shall know that I look down at you and I say to you, you are my beloved, rest in peace this night so that you may arise with a new awakening as the day begins. My beloved people, I am present to you in your rising and in your resting, in your walking and in your talking, in wherever you are, I am present. I don't abandon you because I have chosen you for my kind purpose. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. 
Information from Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 15. You see, God's grace has been revealed to save the whole human race. It has taught us that we should give up everything contrary to true religion and all our worldly passions. We must be self restrained and live upright and religious lives in this present world waiting in hope for the blessing which will come with the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He offered himself for us in order to ransom us from all our faults and to purify a people to be his very own and eager to do good. Confirmation from Romans chapter 8. We, we are all well aware that we are all well aware that God works with those who love him, those who have been called in accordance with his purpose, and turns everything to their good. He decided beforehand who were the ones destined to be molded to the pattern of his son, so that he should be eldest of many brothers. It was those so destined that he called. Those that he called, he justified, and those that he's justified, he has brought into glory. Praise God. Amen. Isn't it wonderful to be here this evening? Amen. Just to receive all that God has to, to give to us. He's constantly pouring out so much upon us. This evening, as we listened, the prophecy began with a question. If we realize, there was a question. Do you realize what God has done for you? Do you realize what he is doing in your life? Do you realize the gifts and all the different things that God has to, wants to bestow and is bestowing upon us? So it's, the prophecy began this, this evening with calling us to a consciousness of who we are and what God has planned for us in our lives. And the way in which he wants to work us and all for his honor, his praise, and his glory has brought confirmation, speak to us about everything God has created is for his glory. And so there's nothing, as you read, continue on with St. Paul to the Romans, there is nothing that can come between us and the love of God made known to us in Jesus Christ. And therefore, when we come to understand, as the prophecy invites us to question ourselves, who we are and what God wants of us, we know that nothing, nothing, nothing can come between us and the love of God made known to us in Jesus Christ. And that we come to represent that love. We come to share that love. We come to give that love to the world. The world, sisters and brothers, is hungering and dying. It's, it's thirsty and hungry for more and for love. And it is for us in our witness to be able to give that to the world and to allow other people, just as God said to us tonight in, in, in a prophetic song, he turns all things around, for us to be those presents to other people to turn their lives around and cause them to come to a new place. Those of you who are familiar with the consecration of the living water community says every day, oh Jesus, beloved of my soul, through the immaculate heart. And you go through that beautiful consecration and in that consecration, we ask God that we may be his saving, healing presence in the world. 
And whoever comes into our presence may experience the, pre the presence of Jesus. Therefore, when we pray that prayer, and when we understand that prayer, and when you understand what God is calling us to, nothing, nothing, not COVID, no any difficulties, financial, whatever it might be, relationship, whatever it might be, can come between us and God and the love that he has for us. Because in that prayer, we consecrate our lives to do just what God is asking of us in the prophecy today. To be that witness, to be that life, to be that healing, to be that presence to his people. And so, sisters and brothers, we are challenged this evening, I know. And we could perhaps continue to ask ourselves the question as we go home. Do I understand what God is doing for me? Do I understand why God created me? Do I understand what he's calling me to? And perhaps you could, we could work with that this week in our lives. And remember the consecration. That, uh, those of you who don't know the consecration, go into our um, website. And I think it's there. It's the history of that. Rhonda was in prayer in the initial stages of the community. And she received that, that prayer, that beautiful consecration. I still have the handwritten first time that it was showed to anybody. She, is, she gave that to me when she first experienced what God was saying. And she asked me to look at it. And I still have that copy, the initial copy. And it is a prayer that we in household, we say every day, every day, so that we could be conscious of who we are and what God is asking of us, to be his living, healing presence in this world. Praise God. Yes. Amen. So you could go into the website and you can get that prayer and perhaps you can start saying it. Start saying it. Those, I suppose most people say it, but those of you who don't say it, we can probably... Start to say it and to get familiar with that beautiful prayer of consecration. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Every covenant member received that prayer when they made covenant. So it's tucked away somewhere. So dust it off and bring it out. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of us say it. Yes, indeed. We say it, yes. Indeed, yeah. for Praise sure. God. Praise God. Let's thank the Lord for that. <clears throat> Praise God. Praise God. His wonderful presence tonight. We, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the many blessings that you have poured out upon us, your people here tonight and those who join us through the media. We thank you, Lord, for your word, for the inspiration that you have given us, Lord, through the music ministry tonight. Lord, we thank you. What a wonderful God you are. What a marvelous God, present to us, your people. Lord, in the midst of all the darkness and pain and suffering, you are here with us. You are with your people. You never abandon us. Lord, the mountains can fall into the sea, but Lord, you are here with your people. God of Jacob is my stronghold. We thank you, Lord, and praise you for your blessings. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you that you're a God who turns things around, Lord, in our lives, in our families, in our relationships. We thank you, O oh God, and bless you. Thank you, Lord, for the call that you have put on each of us tonight, for the question that you have asked each of us tonight. And Lord, as we come to the end of our prayer meeting, indeed, Lord, our hearts are filled with your presence your love, Lord, your very word that has touched our hearts this night. We praise you, Lord, and bless, bless you. Lord. Glorify your name, O God. Holy and wonderful are you, Lord. Oh, blessed are you, King of kings and Lord of lords, faithful God, wonderful God. And Lord, we just bring into this circle of love all those who join us through the media, and all their intentions, Lord, intentions of all those in our community extended all over the world, Lord, as we come to your mother and our mother and our so holy mother of God to pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us. The hour of our death. And Holy Mother, help us answer that question tonight. O oh, Blessed Mother, 
lead us deeper into the heart of your beloved Son. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. And the people of God say, Amen. Let me hear that again. The people of God say, Amen. Let's have a round of applause and music. Praise the Lord. Glory to the King. Praise God. Stretched out, I'll bless your name. Thank 